Hello, in this video we are going to digitize lines. We'll digitize rivers on this topographical map. In the main menu, go to Layer, Create Layer, New Geo Package Layer. We will use the existing Mount Marcy Geo Package that we created before. For table name, we use rivers. For geometry type, we choose line string and we change the projection to the same that is used in this project. As an attribute, we add the name of the river, which is text data, and click Add to Fields list. Then we click OK. A pop-up warns us if we want to overwrite or add the new layer. We want to add the new layer to the existing geo package. Now we see the new empty layer in the Layers panel. Toggle on the editing by clicking the pencil and add a line. Let's digitize this river. We always digitize rivers from the upstream to the downstream. The direction of the river is stored in the geometry of the layer. At locations where tributaries join, we place a vertex. In that way we can later snap the tributary to the main river. Here again we place a vertex. When you're done, you click right to complete the line. The FID is automatically generated as part of the geo package attribute and we name the river Cascade Brook as written on the map. Click OK. Now the line symbol is a random symbol and it's not very clear so if we uncheck the topographical map you can clearly see the line. We'll change the styling in another video. Now we're going to add a tributary, therefore it's important to switch on the snapping toolbar. You can find that by clicking right somewhere on the toolbar. Click the magnet and choose the active layer, so it only snaps to an active layer. You can also snap to other layers. Choose 15 meters. I can test it. When my mouse comes within 15 meters, it highlights the closest vertex. And I also digitize the tributary from the upstream to the downstream. If I make a mistake, I can use backspace, then it will go back one node. Here it snaps, and with right I can complete this tributary and fill in the name of the river, which is Cascade Brook. Let's also do the other tributaries. You see that I don't have a node there, so it will snap to the next one. And here's another one. Now I've digitized all the uh, streams from the Cascade Brook. Let's do another river. Here we have the Cedar Brook, and I also digitize it from the upstream to the downstream. And I click right to complete. I fill in the name. And click OK. Now I can save the line by toggle off the editing, or I can make still corrections. Simply click on a vertex and move it. I can use undo. And it works similar to the points. Let's save it and check the attribute table. Here I see that uh, every line of the Cascade Brook is a separate feature, as well as the Cedar Brook. Sometimes you want to consider all the tributaries as one feature of the main river. And we can achieve that by dissolving using the name in this case. In the Vector menu, go to Geoprocessing Tools and choose Dissolve. As an input layer, I choose Rivers. And I select the name field as the field to dissolve. So all features with the same name will become one feature. I store the result in the geo package. And I call the output rivers dissolved. Click OK and run the algorithm. Close the dialog when it's done and check the attribute table. And here we see that Cascade Brook is selected and it becomes completely yellow. It's one feature. 
So in this video you've learned how to digitize lines, specifically rivers from the upstream to the downstream, and how to dissolve tributaries so rivers become one feature. 